Hey, 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 family. What's going on with everybody? What's up? What's up? What's up? It is your sister, your friend, and empowerment life coach, JC. And today I'm coming on here with the Women's Wednesday Empowerment Word for you. Um, I know that it is a late upload, and I just pray that this finds you right on time, wherever you're watching this from, whatever hour, whatever city, whatever state. I'm going to welcome you on to uh, the YouTube channel and what y'all waiting for. I want to ask you to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the family and hit the notifications bell. So every time I upload a new video, you will be in the loop. You will be in the knowing. Um, please forgive my tire. <laughs> and as you can see, I am in a open space. This is the one of the places that I go to to talk to the Lord. And here lately, I just been uh, feeling this in my spirit. I don't know if it's just me. Somebody else need this as well, but I'm going to give you what I got. OK, so um, uh, if you guys don't already know, um, I am an evangelist. I also operate in the office of a prophetess. And uh, I do the work of the Lord, okay? Long story short, I do the work of the Lord. I am in the beauty industry, so I love beauty. I love to just do stuff to make me feel good, make other people feel good. And I also teach the word of God and preach like I lost my mind. And so I want to welcome y'all <laughs> To all of the new subscribers, welcome to the family. I'm so excited to have you. We are growing and going higher in the Lord, and I am excited about it. Listen, on this channel, you will grow. You will get a word from the Lord that will elevate your spirit, that will take you from where you are to where you need to be in the Lord. And I believe that God is ushering us into a new space and into a new time and into a new season, into a new era and dispensation in time. And we have to have our ears tuned to the Father. And if you can't hear him, you need to have your ears tuned until he sends a word to you, okay? Not YouTube University, all right? But just a word. And however he seem want to do that, that's between him and you. But today's message is going to be powerful. It's going to uplift your spirit. I just, how we do every Wednesday, if you don't know, we welcome in the spirit of the Lord. And, um... We pray before we get into the message. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for life-changing results. Father, I pray for your daughter, and I just pray and cover you, daughter of God, in the name of Jesus. I cover you in his blood. I cover you, and I pray that he will give you peace. I pray that he will give you his joy. I pray that the Lord will lift up your head, and I pray that he will begin to establish his will concerning you. I pray that if you are dealing with any heaviness, if you're dealing with any lowness, if you're dealing with life, if life is life and for you, I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to come in and comfort you. I pray that your mind will not be all over the place, but I pray that the Holy Spirit will begin to regulate you and will begin to set you back in the place where you once were before. I pray that he will begin to give you that peace like you had like you had before that peace that surpasses all understanding i pray that today that you are blessed i pray you're prosperous i pray that everything that god has for you in this coming season that you will live to see it and that you will testify of the goodness of the lord i pray over you and cover you in the name of jesus and i ask the father to give you his strength to give you his love to give you a soundness of mind if the enemy's been coming in and you feel like your mind is just all over the place I just pray that the Lord begin to put in and call in your wondering mind and put your pieces back together in the name of Jesus. I just pray that the Lord will have his way in you, through you, and he will bless you richly in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree over you that this is the season and the time where you will see it happen for you. In Jesus' name, you won't keep going season by season praying and not seeing God move, but I pray that the Lord will move on your behalf. Perhaps you were created. Perhaps you were born. Perhaps you were made for such a time as this, Esther. Perhaps you were made for such a season as this, Esther, Joseph, Caleb, 
Okay, Deborah, I, I pray that perhaps you were born and created for this season and time. And God is moving swift. God is moving his spirit upon all flesh. God is a God is ushering us in into a new era, into a new day. Okay, and we have to be in position and ready to catch what he's throwing. And I just pray that you won't allow anything in your past to hold you back. I pray and cover you that you won't allow anybody or any circumstance to hold you back. That you will let go of bad connections. That you will let go of the wrong crowd, the wrong people. That you will let go of circumstances that don't serve you. That 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 weigh you down. That make you, uh, you know, fit in a box when God have called you out of a box, child of God. So I just pray and cover you. And as we get into the word for today, y'all, uh, things do change. Okay, things do change. Circumstances do change. Seasons do change. Times and God's plan for you. You don't know the plans that he has for you in every season. You don't know what God may ask you to do and where, what, what, what that next move may look like. You don't always know, but that is why it's important to lean on God, to call on God, to trust God when you cannot trace him. And just in case you may be facing a hard situation or just in case you may be in a season where it feels nearly impossible for you to make it out of this season, I want to encourage you that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of every single one of them. Okay, so don't let this season be a season where you play yourself short and you feel like God is not going to come through for you. God is going to show up for you. God is going to perform his will over your life. God will not leave you. God will not forsake you. God won't close his, turn his back on you, close uh, the door on you. He won't walk out on you. Okay. And so you have to trust the Lord in this hour. Trust that he knows what he is doing. Even when you feel like all hope is lost, even when you feel woman of God, like everything is caving in on you. If it ain't the job, it's the kids. If it ain't the kids, it's your husband. If it ain't your husband, it's your coworker. If it ain't your coworker, it's you. If it ain't you, it's somebody that you know. So I just pray and hope that you will allow God to lift your head up. The Bible says, lift your head up, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. And when you're facing tough situations, woman of God, sis, when you're going through battle after battle and it seems like you losing your mind and everything around you seems like it's caving in, I want to let you know that you are scheduled for a new season. I want to let you know and pray prophesy to you that you are scheduled for a new season, a new era, and a new day. A new time has come upon you. And so when there's shaking going on around you, when you feel like all hope is lost, when you feel like your mind is leaving the place where it used to be, Listen, God shakes us for new. He shakes us because he's preparing us for what we have not walked into yet, for what we have not entered into yet. And this is not the time of the season to quit. This ain't the time of the season to throw in the towel. This ain't the time of the season for you to lose your mind, baby. God got you. And at the end of the day, know and trust and believe that your heavenly father, the one who will never walk out on you, got a plan for you. So yeah, all hell may be breaking loose. Yeah, everything may be looking real funny right about now. But I guarantee you, give God a little time and watch him perform it for you as long as you stay in position. And as long as you keep your eyes on him, as long as even when it seems crazy, and I'm telling you the crazy of crazy things is happening to the body of Christ in this hour. But as long as we got our ears tuned into the father and as long as our hearts, even when we sin, we confess it and we repent. Let me tell you, you won't miss this next thing God is doing. Some of you may feel like, well, I think I'm a miss God. You won't miss God. You're scheduled for a new season. God has his hands on you and everything that he has pronounced over your life, not a jot or a tittle of his word will fall to the ground pertaining you. Not a jot or a tittle of his word will fall to the ground when it comes to your destiny. So woman of God, pick your crown up. If you dropped it, I want you to pick it up in the spirit and I want you to dust your crown off in the spirit go ahead and dust it off just dust it off get you a clean paper towel in the realm of the spirit do it by faith and dust off that crown begin to shine your crown woman of God because God has not for 
forgotten. God is not forsaking you. God has not left you. God hears your cry. God hears your prayers. God hears you when you cry out to him in the midnight. God is hearing you when you're warring in your spirit and you cannot utter words because when you cannot speak, the Holy Ghost will do his job for you. And that is to pray for you. That is to make an intercession for you. So even when it looked like people doubting you, People counting you out, people looking at where you at, but they don't understand what God is doing in your life. Baby, it's time to forget them folks, drop them off and keep moving because what God is doing is too big for you to play it small. What God is doing is too big for you to go back. What God is doing is too big for you to throw in the towel. What he's doing is too great. You're too great. You're too big. And that's why you can't fit in small rooms. And that's why you can't fit in small circles. And that's why you don't fit in with the norm and that's why you are not the majority but you and God y'all stand together and you know that you'll be able to weather the storm because your daddy got your back your father got your back and ain't nobody gonna ride or die for you like God gonna ride or die for you he won't just ride till the wheels fall off he'll be there until the end of the earth he will be with you he will be your rear guard so when you have to leave a place when you have to leave an old relationship when you have to leave dead people when you have to leave old circles. Just be still and know that the Lord is the Lord and he will do a new thing in you and you will see it spring forth. And so it don't matter what let people talk about you. Let them call you out your name when you sin and they forget how much sin they have, but they want to throw your name under the bus when you're not, when you're, when you're in a season of holding, but it looks like you're inconsistent when you're in a pattern of holding. I hope y'all hear me, but it's sometimes when God have you in a season where you're getting ready to pivot into a new place. Sometimes it looks like you're stagnant. Sometimes it looks like you feel that you in a holding place. And sometimes it looks like you're not going to move out of that place. Sometimes it looks like everything around you is so uncomfortable. And sometimes it looks like you have not been doing anything. But when I tell you God will put you in that season because of what he's preparing for you. And he needs you still to, re to get you to receive what he's doing. He needs you in the right posture, which you got to be still in some seasons. You've got to be still so you can get what God really have for you. In some seasons, you've got to be still so you can hear what he really had for you. You've got to be silent so you can catch what he's throwing. Amen. Catch, catch this in the spirit so you can catch what God is throwing. And so don't despise small beginnings. Don't despise where you currently are. Don't despise when you thought you would be further than where you at. But when God said, but I actually knew the plan. See, baby, I gave you glimpses of the plan, but you got to trust me with my plan because I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of success and not failure to give you a hope and to give you an expected end. So I ain't trying to leave and run out on you like the people that you once knew in the past. This ain't the time to try to renege and re and, and trying to and this ain't the time to allow the enemy to uh, try to mess with your mind to make you think for one second that I have left, said the Lord, because I will never leave you. You got my DNA in you. You got my blueprint on you. You are my workmanship. I will never leave you. I will never run out on you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, says the Lord, but I shall deliver them out of every single one of those afflictions. People may talk about you. Let them talk because then you see who's for you. Then you'll see who's Who's really what they really think. Then you let them talk because then you will know what people really think. See, people devise wicked schemes in their heart against you. But when it's time, I will reveal the heart of the heart of your enemies. And that way you would at least know who's who and what's what. And then I'll give you an exit strategy if they need to be removed. But some of them I won't remove because I will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So some of these things God will never remove from you. Some of these places and people God is not going to shift you from. Why? Because he want to prepare a table before you. In the presence of your enemies. He wants your enemies to see what he getting ready to do. He want them to witness his goodness. He literally wants them to witness his, his grace. He wants them to know who he really is. So if he got to use a stinky situation to get to you, what he trying to get to you, to be, if he want to use you as a conduit in the vessel in the earth, 
to get his will done. Yeah, it may hurt. Yeah, it may be painful. Yes, yeah, some seeds you go through crushing, you go through shaking, you go through pressing, you go through beating, but there is some grade A level oil that's getting ready to come from your belly. And you've got to, you got to know that this next level is so vital. So don't quit. Don't give up. Because this next level of all that's going to be released out of you and through you, it's going to be for nations. It's going to change lives drastically. And so let them hate. Let them scheme and have their plots against you. Let them talk about you. Let them be confused about who you really are. Why? Because God wants them to. I said what I said. God wants them to be confused. He wants them that when they look at you, they, they, they think one thing about you. But in all reality, God was hiding you. Mm. In all reality, God was just hiding you. He didn't want them to see your value. Because he wanted them to treat you like funny business. Because what he getting ready to do, they're going to be trying to latch on and leech on. But by that time, baby, you done already been revealed. God done already showed you who they really were. So God is going to give you the strength to say, nah. -uh. Some people try to take credit for the anointing on your life. Some people try to take credit for the way that God has already built you. And it won't happen in his kingdom. It won't happen in this lifetime. God said, I, 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 I share my glory with no man. He ain't sharing it with me. He ain't going to share it with my, with, with my enemies. And he ain't going to share it with people that may not be an enemy, but they still don't believe what God is doing in my life because everybody ain't no enemy. But some people still have to watch back and see and sit back because what's on your life is for them too. And why they thinking that you ain't got nothing? Why they thinking you ain't doing nothing? Wait till he get a hold of you. People count you out in the wrong season. People count you out. They make mistakes. They human. So in their mind, they, faith is not, they're not moving by faith. They're moving by their senses, their natural senses, what they can see. But don't let that disturb you and distract you. You do what God told you to do. You be about your father's business and do what he told you to do. Forget them folks. Forget the naysayers. Forget the doubters. Forget the haters. Forget those people who ain't doing nothing with their life. But they look at you and you are moving. Baby. Forget them folks. If Latoya O'Kea boys, forget them folks, baby. Forget them. Who are they? Nobody. Some of them know your personal life. They know you. They think they know you because of what they see. God wants them to be just like that. Because when he do what he's getting ready to do in your life, he don't need nobody taking glory or credit for what he's getting ready to do. So if you feel isolated, pull the pull back, don't you dare go back and revert and think God ain't talking to me. He not with me. What's going on in my world? What's happening? I tell you what's happening. God is bringing you into a new place. So I love you with the love of Christ. I pray this message has really blessed you, encouraged you, strengthened you, getting your word, Make sure you fast. Make sure you pray. Make sure you find yourself in a season of fasting and prayer because God wants to download. God wants to give to you a blueprint from heaven, systems from heaven, increase from heaven, and you got to be in the right position for God to give you what he's throwing. Amen. So I love you. I have something new coming for you. Something that you will be able to be a part of. And I'm going to release it to you very soon. So stay tuned. I love you. And I will see your beautiful. Oh, you won't see my face and I won't see yours. Well, you'll see mine, but I won't see yours. Okay. But comment in the sections below, in the comment section below. And just talk back to me. Let me know where you're tuning in from. If this blessed you, whatever, whatever. Share this with somebody, another sister friend. And let them know what I said. Okay. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next week on the next Women's Wednesday. Bye-bye. I love you.